Donna McClendon's last year at LSU. Only five, as we told you before, ex-coaches with Bryant or players have beaten the Bear 24 times. They've lost, but two of the five, Charlie McClendon. And he would like to win this more than anything. And, of course, Alabama wants to win it. They're number one in the nation. Ajahn will take this ball at the 7th. 15, 20, and out here the 25-yard line. It is third down nine. In motion comes LaFleur, and no chance to get the ball away is Woodley. Hannah was the first to hit him back at the 20-yard line. Travis, the tight end, sets up on the other side. And here's Ogilvy, great speed. Around the corner, out near midfield. A pickup of seven or eight for Major Ogilvy. No score. First man through is Whitman. He doesn't have the ball. Sheely does and picks up the first down. LSU went for the fake to Whitman, and Sheely held on to the ball and picked up the first down at the 47. Sheely long count. Whitman does have it, the fullback, and does get the first down down near the 35-yard line. Marcus Quinn, the strong side safety, had to make the stop. Just in the first three minutes plus of the game, no score, but Alabama on the move. Oh, knocked off bounds. That was Sheely, and there was Lyman White. Sheely has not thrown yet. It's third and 12. He is back to throw. Looking, has the time, dumps it over the middle. It is caught at the 27-yard line, very close to the first down. Looks like Travis, the tight end. Stetman Sheely has only inches to go. And takes it himself. And I think he got enough. He didn't need much. No score. Five and a half minutes gone. First quarter. Alabama still moving. Sheely with the football. He is outstanding and has got the first down inside the 15-yard line. Down to the 12. Goes Stedman Sheely. And again, Lyman White this time with help from Tommy Brazil makes the stop. And motion is Jackson. Sheely goes back looking, throws, and that ball may have been trapped, and it was. At the nine-yard line, intended for Major Ogilvy, and for the moment at least on fourth down, LSU has held Alabama to make it a 28-yard field goal attempt with the wind at his back. Allen McElroy puts it up, and it is no good. Off to the side. And LSU, as they're known to do in Death Valley, have held. Well, they really come alive. Listen to this crowd now. And that might be uh, uh, just a little push that the Tigers need to really get after it. And it's third down and five to go. And Woodley, back to throw, puts it up. The man was bumped before it got there. They will call that. That's an obvious call. It looked like Robbie Jones hit him before the ball got there. Third and long. Wind in their face. Woodley still got the football. It has a man wide open. Carlos Carson first down, and they say nope. He put his knee down at the 41 or 2-yard line, and he can't go beyond that. Third down and long. Last time they threw to Carlos Carson, remember, on the near side. Woodley goes back. Woodley gets the ball out. Coming out of the backfield is Gajon, but he's nowhere near the first down at the 45-yard line. Hit down there by Clements. And don't you think the Orange Bowl and the Blue Bonnet Bowl and the Cotton Bowl people aren't hanging around this place tonight? In case Georgia does win, they want to be right on the good side of Alabama. Third down and long. Stedman Sheely back. Now looks to run. Steps around one man and is hit short and hit hard. As he gets to the 34, Lionel Wallace is in as a wide receiver. Quick pitch back, Gajon, look out, look at that play. Outstanding defensive play, and that is E.J. Jr., the man we were talking about some time ago, and it's 54 to 20, but you count the scoreboard, and there's no score. Fagan is in for the first time, as a right half back, 35. Ferguson also in. Sheely with the football, running that wishbone very well across the 45, down to the 44, picking up five and a half yards. Sheely likes to run on situations such as this. That is going to run with the football and get the first down. Inside the 40-yard line. It is third down and three. First man through. Whitman, first down inside the 30-yard line. Third down and four to go. Pugh 
wide to the right. But I would count on Alabama running the ball, and I'm wrong because Sheely's going to throw the ball. Look out, Ferguson, and he trips over his own feet. Nobody near him. Tried to slow up. I think he was so excited that he was in the clear that he simply fell down. And now having missed with the wind, a 28-yard field goal attempt, Alan McElroy will now try a 34, make it a 39-yard field goal attempt. From 39 yards out, it is no good. He was 10 of 12 before tonight. He has missed from 28 and 39 yards. And we have no score second quarter. Ensminger hasn't thrown yet, but will this time if he can get it away, setting up the screen, loops it out, and that is to Gajon. Gajon's got the first down, and Gajon's across the 35-yard line. Okay, Gajon to the 38. First down, LSU. Carlos Carson is split to the left. Second down, Ensminger has to throw, but does he? He gives it off to Gajon. Gajon breaks one tackle. Gajon's got the first down. Out near midfield before Scott knocks him down at the 48. Third down, Ensminger looking to the right. He's got a lot of people over there. Throws and did he catch it? Nope, he did not. He's saying that he did, Orlando McDaniel. But the official on the play said no, and they'll have to kick the ball away. Stedman Sheely at quarterback from the 15. Carries the ball himself. Pitches back and run out of bounds. We told you that a victory tonight and Bear Bryant will be the only coach in NCAA history to win 100 games in a decade. He would have done it, of course, in the 70s. Second down and six to go for Alabama. Dedman Sheely hands off to Hill. That fullback who just came in, and he's very near the first down. That is the 35-yard line. Third down and less than a yard to go for Alabama. They've run up and down the field but haven't scored yet. That is Jackson, and Jackson's got the first down. You know, we've had a lot of rain tonight. Uh-oh, uh bobble the football, and Sheena gets away, and look out, he'll go down. That was a bad snap. He raised up, pulled away too quick, whatever it was. He found himself in trouble, retreated, and Richardson, that freshman, was gone on the spot again. Second and five. Could you believe that at halftime it could happen? We could have a scoreless ball game with these two teams. They both score a lot. Guy John again slipping one tackle at the first down across the 50 yard line. Bumps out of bounds at the 45 by Tucker. First down LSU. Alabama averaging 37 points plus per ball game. Haven't gotten one yet. LSU hasn't either. That's the name of the game. Ensminger goes for broke. Intended for Carson. The ball is in the air and away. Battled away by Tucker, I do believe. Surprising ball game, isn't it? Sheely. And straight ahead, Whitman, same kind of play that came close to the first down on the first play, and he is close to the first down again. Marcus Quinn is on him, but Stedman Sheely's got nobody to hand it off to. Looked around and nobody was there. And that might be it. Well, the number one team in the nation, averaging better than 37 points a ball game, but also allowing only five points per ball game, didn't allow any, and didn't score any. As time is gonna run out in this first half, got it down with them. It's been a surprise. They go to the dressing room for the rain. LSU fans figure, well, we got them in the first half. Let's see what happens in the second. Hey, Woodley's going to throw if he can get it away, and he's not going to get it away as Bragg comes in and gets him from behind. Short for the first down, they will punt. Mafu's got a good kickoff with the win, but a bad kick against the win, although it's getting an LSU bounce inside the 45. Alabama's going to wind up with excellent field position. And let me tell you that Brian Braggs, the junior out of Montgomery, who had two outstanding plays toward the end of that LSU series, limped off. Stedman Sheely turns to go the other way, running that wristbone, pitches out, and Ogilvy's got the football and a lot of yardage. Inside the 40-yard line to the 37-yard line for Lyman White, ran him out of bounds. Stedman Sheely, that is the fullback Whitman, and Whitman has had good success. And he rolls inside the 30-yard line, down to the 28-yard line, where Bill Farrell and James Britt made the tackles. They come alive on short-yarded situations. They love to remember the Chinese bandits. They love to watch him play defense. Jackson carries the ball down to the 25-yard line. And that is the first down. First down as Thibodeau makes the stop. First down from the 25. Scoreless tie. Alabama on the move. Sheely on that delay and runs straight ahead inside the 10. Just turned and stood there, frozen. 
and took off. And the LSU defenders were frozen also to see which way it would go. Sheely, flag goes down. Sheely pitches out to Ogilvy, heading for the sideline. Bumps out of bounds before he gets in, but remember, a flag went down. And it is too much time. That's the initial signal. They took too much time in getting the play away, and there is the second mistake. Sheely knocked down as he gets to the 10-yard line, and that was Marcus Quinn, who had his bell rung earlier. Alan McElroy trying to put Alabama out in front. He's missed two thus far tonight, and from that distance, he has got it. And there's the first score of the night. Alabama goes on top three to nothing with 8.49 to go in the third quarter. Second down and six to go. Three to nothing, Alabama. Eight minutes to go, third quarter. Woodley back to throw, has the man up short, and that is Swallow. And they're saying it's no good. They dove for the ball, anticipating fumble, but they say it's no good. Third and long. LSU's got to get something going here. There's a lot of time left, but they haven't been able to get anything going, so they're going to Murphy's on the screen play, and Murphy's has got the first down. Out near the 30-yard line goes Jerry Murphy, the senior out of, guess where? Birmingham, Alabama. Last time on this situation, they went to a screen right. Now they're right across the middle, and the man slips again. It is no good. Intended for Scott. Jackson, Whitman, and Ogilvy, your setbacks. Whitman, ball pitched out by Sheely after the fake to Whitman. Ogilvy takes it to the 45-yard line. Second down and four to go. Game is still on the field. Now that fake to Whitman again, the same play as they pitch out to Ogilvy again, and he's got the first down as he moves into LSU territory at the 48-yard line. Second down, seven. And that was Wilcox, it looked like, at quarterback. Let me check that. In motion is the lead, the quarterback. There's a, or the tight end, Gajon, gets the pitch back, and he's lost a yard on the play as Thomas Boyd, the leading tackler, came up from his weak side linebacker spot and nailed him at the 19. That was Quinn who went to the locker room. Mafus will do the kicking against that win, and he's having a tough time, and a Call is taken by Ricky Tucker at the 47-yard line, and it's excellent field position for Alabama. Stedman Sheely's going to throw, looking, and is picked off by Teal. That's the first turnover of the night. Travis wasn't even looking when Stedman Sheely threw the ball. He had his head looking straight downfield, and Teal... The defensive back beyond him saw the ball all the way and picked it off. But again, we apologize for not having our instant replay tonight. Ensminger is your quarterback. We have it, but it has gone down for the moment. Ensminger on a pitch back to Carlos Carson dropped the football. And let's see, they're running in to say it is second down. That would have been a dangerous turnover. Paul Bear Bryant wants to win the ninth in a row for the season, the 18th in a row for his winning streak and 22 consecutive games in the Southeastern Conference. And that is Whitman that carried the football very near the first down. It'll be third down and short. Third down, a little bit more than a yard. Whitman, the big man, has got more than enough for the first down. Down to the 41-yard line with Frizzell hanging on for dear life. We're at Baton Rouge's 3-0 Alabama, second down and 10. Stedman Sheely pitching back to Major Ogilvy, who's coming to the ball game. Ogilvy inside the 30-yard line, and first down Alabama at the 26-and-a-half-yard line. Run out of bounds by Lyman White and Woody Teal, and the Crimson Tide begins to roll. LSU has been good. Stedman Sheely in a little bit of trouble. Pitches, no, hangs on to the ball. He gets out of trouble, loses the ball. Belongs to LSU. Sheely got the first down, and James Britt came up with the fumble at the five-yard line. And again, Alabama is denied. But Alabama hasn't given them a shot at any kind of score. And Ensminger, on his own two, puts the ball up and has a man on the sideline. First down. Tucker makes the stop across the way, and it is Murphy. 
LSU band continues to play. Leroy Jones trying to find his footing to get around the corner. By the time he staggers there, Byron Braggs is there to make the stop. Here's where the LSU crowd comes alive. Whitman blasts and has the first down across the 45 up to the 47-yard line. With John Adams hanging on for dear life. Third down five. Sheely to Whitman, and he did not make it. Atia makes the stop, number 60. Ansminger in there, and he's going to throw on first down. Gets the ball away, has his man. That is Porter. First down, out across the 35-yard line. The market at the 36. Ansminger back to throw again, has time again, coming across the middle, and this time it is Orlando McDaniel. Near a first down across the 45-yard line. Ensminger on second and short puts the ball up and is intercepted by number 43, Clements. Mike Clements has the first turnover. First down from the 48-yard line. Stedman Sheely going the other way. Puts the ball up in the air and has his man Travis on the far side. And that's the first down inside of 35. Stedman Sheely, he's going to put it up. And it's out of bounds. Out of bounds. And going back is Stedman Sheely. Down he goes. They take over at the 40-yard line. Atia and Adams get him, and they have outstanding field position. Ensminger sets it up, throws it out, has his man Gajon. Gajon has the first down, noses the ball across the 50-yard line. On first down, Ensminger throwing on every play. Blitz is on, and well, the ball is intercepted by Jim Bob Harris. Off the hands of Lafleur and into the hands of Jim Bob Harris. And now the turnovers are even at two all. This is the kind of thing that would bring up a controversy. On Tuesday, if Alabama is not voted number one on the basis of what happened tonight. Edmund Sheely carrying the football and slides across the 50. That should give Alabama the first down, but they're going to mark it just shy of the 50, I do believe. Third down, and just inches to go. I think they should have it. That was Sheely, because Alabama, if they win tonight and Auburn beats Georgia next week, goes to the Sugar Bowl, but if Georgia should lose to Auburn and Alabama wins, well, Alabama goes back to the Sugar Bowl. That is Ogilvy, and it's going to be fourth down. 152 to go. Gracie Porter and Willie Teeler deep as Humphrey is back to kick from his own 42. Kicking against the wind, hangs it very high. Bear catch called for, lost the football. That belongs to LSU inside the 10 yard line. 135 to go, Ensminger back, has a man open, Porter, first down at the 25, 26 yard line. Tracy Porter at the 26 yard line, and it is third down and 10. Ensminger, back to throw, has time, drills the ball, and he was hit just as he threw, and it might, the ball might have slipped a little bit, intended for Porter, I think E.J. Jr. was in on top of him. Everybody knows Ensminger is back to throw, has the time, gets it away, has a man there, but he cannot get to it. Murphy on the far sideline couldn't get to it. Alabama takes over and apparently will remain undefeated. They can fall on the ball a couple of times and get out of here with a three to nothing ball game. Stedman Sheedy falls down again. That should be the ball game. They'll count it down in this driving rainstorm. People are leaving. They've seen LSU give an outstanding performance under Charlie McClendon, but they've seen Paul Bear Bryant win his 100th game of the decade, the first time it's ever done, and he is now within 22 of Amos Alonzo Stagg as the all-time winningest coach in football. Final score, Alabama 3, LSU nothing, an outstanding ball game in a rainstorm, and Baton Rouge, Louisiana.